हेलो फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टेक्नोलॉजी एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन टू नेवर मिस द अपडेट्स हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गाइस हाउ टू इंस्टॉल ओबंटू सर्वर ऑन योर विंडोज कंप्यूटर वर्चुअल बॉक्स सो यू जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो मी एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर मोर अपडेट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो So at first you need to uh, download a uh, Ubuntu server ISO file from this website. So I will give you this link to my video description. So don't worry with that. After that you can download any version of them. So I have uh, recommended you to download this version because this is stable version. So and this is the latest version. Okay. So download this one or you can use this one also the 17.0.1. So I have already downloaded the Ubuntu 16.0.04.3. so and also you need to download a uh, virtual box on your computer so i will give you also the virtual box download link to my video description so after after uh, install the virtual box on your computer you have to click on this new button from here and after that type here ubuntu so whenever you will type here ubuntu you can see automatically is uh, detected the linux you type and the version is ubuntu 64 bit so click on next so so i will choose like different name because i have already created with this name so i will so now uh, you need to choose the ram size so i have uh, 8 gb ram on my computer so i will choose near about uh, 2 gb so then it will not take uh, too much time so if you have uh, like 4 gb or 2 gb ram then you can choose 1 gb uh, memory from here so i will choose uh, near about 2.5 gb okay after that click on next and then create and then click on next by default so now you have to click on choose this ubuntu 2 which i have created here and after that click on start so now you have to choose your iso file which i have already downloaded on my computer here as you can see so you have to click on the location go to the location and the select the iso file from here and after that click on start So now it will showing you the different version. So it will not shown me. Uh, I will choose power off. So I will show you from the beginning. So as you can see, it uh, now you have to select a language. Like I will choose English, and after that you can choose any version of Ubuntu server. So as you can see, the second option is Ubuntu server with the H. W kernel, and if you want to test your memory, then you can choose this option. So I will uh, choose this first option directly install Ubuntu server. So click on install Ubuntu server, press enter from your keyboard. So now you have to choose the language, and then your country. You can choose any country. I will choose India, and after that, no, just by default option. Choose by default options. So as you can see, it's loading uh, additional components. So now you have to put your host name. So I will choose your technology. You can put anything. and then after that click on continue or press enter from your keyboard just pressing tab then press enter and then you have to choose your username i will same i will choose same username like technology and after that continue then then i have to choose a password i will choose here tour t w o r tour and after that click on continue then retype your password here and click on continue again so it's showing me is a weak password so i will choose yes here and 
it's showing me to encrypt your home directory so i will choose yes so choose yes just press enter from your keyboard so i will choose second option press enter and uh, so it's showing me write changes to disk configure the lvm logical volume manager so i will choose yes from here so just uh, press the arrow key right arrow key and press the enter from your keyboard and after that click on continue means press enter you have to click on press enter now you have to choose the right changes to disk so you have to choose yes so just press uh, your uh, right arrow and left arrow from here and after that select yes from here now press enter So now press enter from your keyboard. So now you have to choose this option it's called no automatic updates and here is the all the packages if you want to install them then you have to paste uh, you have to uh, press from your keyboard space and then down arrow key then space then down arrow key then space so i need to install all these packages like dns server uh, lamp server mail server and samba for file, file sharing server so after that you have to press tab from your keyboard and press enter from your keyboard. So now it's installing all the servers, all the packages and here you have to choose your MySQL root password. So I will choose same password for my, my uh, for MySQL. So I will choose 2 T W R 2 and after that continue then, uh, then again uh, 2 T W R 2 then continue. So now you have to choose locally only, local only. Now So installation is done. So now you have to choose enter from your keyboard.
so now press enter from your keyboard so now it's reboot so here you will get two option as you can see so choose ubuntu So now you have to log in with your username and password. So you have to, I have to put same username which I have already set for my Ubuntu server. So technology and after the password is stored. So now as you can see it's successfully login. So I hope this video will really helpful for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button. And if you have any queries or questions then comment below. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.